How Koreans Kimchi. Every year, the family gathers to prepare for the long winter. Kimchi is not a joke for Koreans. It runs in our blood. This year's Kimjang, things are gonna get messy. Your eyes will water, probably from the garlic. Red stains will be splattered. Coming soon to theaters. I mean, YouTube at Doobie Doo Bob. <laughs> Before we begin, a quick word from today's sponsor, Love and Pies. So, Love and Pies is the new game to play this autumn. If you love cozy, food related games like I do, Love and Pies is going to be for you. It's free to download and you can play it anywhere with your phone or tablet. What's really adorable and heartwarming about this game is that the premise is of taking over your mom's cafe. This game teaches you how to redecorate and build a thriving business by merging ingredients and serving customers. The colors on this game are beautiful and it gives really cozy autumn vibes and it's been a new part of my routine to just jump into bed, de-stress and relax by playing Love and Pies. And there's a lot of drama going on especially with the main character Amelia because her ex is working in the cafe with her. I'm excited to hear how you like the game and what part you like the most. So please join me in the world of Love and Pies and don't miss out on the autumn magic. Make sure to download Love and Pies for free on iOS and Android today and be part of the delightful fall stories. Now back to the video. Part 1, Mise en Place. Every Korean family knows this, but kimchi is better prepared not on a kitchen counter or a fancy marble island countertop, but on the floor. There's something about dressing the cabbage in an Asian squat that gives it that extra depth of culture with a capital K. And to minimize the mess, make sure to put down a stain-proof picnic blanket or a newspaper on the floor. Hot tip is to put double-sided tape underneath so it doesn't shuffle around during passionate kimchi dressage action. It seems today this Korean family has a wild Dane appearance. This is his first real Kimjang experience. Should we do a little... Uh... <laughs> it's time to make the filling for the sauce. Part 2, the filling. Papa Choi is on turbo mode. It's a Sunday and he's a little stressed at how much work there has to be done. <laughs> The Wild Dane is frozen. Even the dogs are a little scared right now. This is more like my dad's kimchi making class. Yeah, I was about to, I was about to say you need to, you need to get in there. It's time for the mandolin to come out. His daughter, a quote-unquote freelancer, is taking her sweet old time. This is where the squatty tool is extremely helpful. <laughs> no, she looked at you and was like, oh. Don't forget to slice the tops of the radishes either. Nothing goes to waste when making kimchi. And this is what it should look like at the end. Radishes make up the bulk of the volume of the kimchi filling. Let's move on to the scallions next. You want to cut them into 4 cm matchsticks evenly. This was the moment she knew she fucked up. <laughs> This was big, that's why. So this is minari. It's Korean watercress, and it gives kind of like a freshness to the kimchi. She requests for a scientific backup. Denied with a shrug. You got this how old Four to five centimeters. Four centimeters, he says. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Four. Okay. okay. Things are not going well without my mom. What's the ratio? Minari to pa? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> These are Korean red mustard leaves and they're a little different from American mustard leaves because 
the stem is longer and there's less of the leaf, but it's really crunchy and has like the same bitterness. Mm. But ah, so bitter. Oh, yeah? Three millimeters, three centimeters. Some <laughs> Some Some centimeters. This feels like adult play school that my parents <laughs> set off. My dad is so tired of this bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> you can really feel it. <laughs> yeah. It's thick in the air. That's it from languages. Oh, oh no. I'm not that. Great timing. Amma is here for the rescue. <laughs> oh, Kevin. Oh, I'm so tired. So I need to take a nap. Grumpy that she couldn't take a nap, Amma says there's no time for dilly dallying. Let's get this over quickly. You need two tools to make kimchi your hands, gloves, and tape. Wait, is that three? Well, gloves and tape. These gloves are waterproof and they will help your skin from burning from all the chilies that we'll be using today and smelling like garlic for days. And to make sure that they don't slip or any of the filling gets inside, you want to tape it like this. Now that all the veggies for the filling are prepped, we're going to dress it in some kuchikaru. This step is to ensure that the red hue seeps into the radishes and it's not 100% necessary if you're going to ferment okay. it right away. Part 3. Draining the cabbage We got our brine napa cabbage and made an incision on the head of the cabbage to rip it into quarters. This is to drain excess brine so our kimchi is not too wet and salty. Face the center of the cabbage down so that the excess salt water is dripped out of the layers. I want to get this cool shot of me looking ripped while ripping cabbage, but looking now it's not that cool. And this is Julie being what the fuck? Why is it raining oh. indoors? <laughs> Sorry, Julie. What did someone do? I was peeing. Part four, a side quest. I've said this in a video before, but you can kimchi anything as long as it's legal and edible. We had extra mustard leaves and wanted to kimchi it. And as long as you understand the techniques of brining, dressing, and fermenting, you can kimchi it. Here, we're using some of the leftover brine and making mustard green kimchi, which is my dad's favorite. Ah, so you put it down in the brine from the cabbage. Yeah, just reusing it. That's smart. Part five, the sauce. Okay, next up, we're gonna make the sauce for the kimchi. We're using two onions, one Asian pear, two cups of garlic, and 100 grams of ginger. The reason why we put Asian pear is that it's a natural source of sugar. So when it ferments, it has this like really nice, like crisp flavor. It also helps with the fermentation process. I'm gonna uh, peel this and then blend all of this in the blender. And then we're gonna reserve some of the onion and pear mixture so that we can grind the ginger, the garlic, fresh shrimp. Every family has their own secret recipe for kimchi and our family's is fresh shrimp. It really makes the kimchi pop and mature incredibly well and umami packed when it ferments over time. I know it sounds weird, but it almost acts as like fish sauce. Shrimp smoothie. And then we add the rest of the ingredients. Four cups of fish sauce. One cup of salted shrimp. And then this is going to be the kuchukaru. We're making the glue so that the kimchi sauce will adhere to the cabbage. This is good. 
This is the consistency you're looking for. Elmer's glue consistency. This is green plum extract that's going in as our sweetener. You want the sauce to be like your taste in woman. Thick, spicy, and funky. Oh, and age well with time. Remember, Asian, don't raisin. Look at my mom. Mmm, very good. Now, mix the sauce in with the prepared filling. Make sure to scrape every little bit of the sauce. The surgeon bore him to the surgery. Scrub, scrub, scrub. And all the salt from the fish sauce is gonna draw out the moisture in the vegetables through osmosis. So it looks really thick right now, but, but the vegetable water is gonna come out and loosen it. Yes? Yes, right. We're gonna push the filling to one side and we're gonna put the cabbages and start dressing them. Yeah, can you keep looking at the camera here? Okay, we'll Yes, hi. I can understand. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So you, don't <laughs> so you don't have to translate. Part six, dressing. <laughs> nice catch. <laughs> Shut your mouth, please. Hey. I got the recipe, never gonna let any up be the best of me. Thought it was distance, but hey, this is nice to me. Talk to the spirit, you know I've been heavenly. Company definitely show your trajectory. This ain't a this cause I say it respectfully. It's time to eat up, bread like a speeder. Taking it deeper, and that's how it better be. I never let the comparison get to me. I just remember the Use the outer layers of the cabbage to protect the kimchi from too much oxygen contact. Remember, kids, always use protection. Maybe not made out of Napa cabbage leaves. <laughs> Make sure to put the kimchi cut side up so all the filling stays inside and doesn't fall out. Joking about ripping your tattoos off. Yeah. I hope. Yeah. I wish. Uh, we have lots of tapes. <laughs> <laughs> Half a rose now. Come on, go. Big hand. Come on, go. Come on, go. Come on, go. Come She go. Come on, 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 Come on, go. Come on, go. Come on, Come on, it's not a real Korean family without 5% of toxicness. This is what 20 kilos of kimchi plus butthole looks like. Kimchi swag. Part 7, Bosam. It's a constitutional decree to have braised pork bosam with freshly made kimchi. NPR Tiny Kitchen presents a song dedicated to bosam. And finally, it is time to take a big juicy bite out of the fruit of your labor. Wrap a piece of warm, softly braised pork belly in freshly dressed kimchi like a little burrito and away it goes in your mouth. I hope you enjoyed this video and I have a little announcement.